Okay, I'm gonna get in a little closer for you guys. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little more casual, just like last week's video. Which, by the way, I quickly want to thank you guys for your incredible feedback. You guys left the sweetest messages in the entire world and it genuinely made me so, so happy. I read through every single one of them and you guys are just freaking awesome. But today's video is also going to be pretty casual because I don't have much time this week and so apologies on that. But I'm also excited because I've only filmed this type of video once before. I'll have it linked down below but it's basically going to be a get ready with me but a little more casual and chatty. I'm going to be talking through what I'm doing versus chopping it up and adding in voiceover and music and all that stuff. I just realized I didn't set my makeup so we're going to do that right now but that's so out of order. That's okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> Base for the face. You need to put something on your face before you start filling up your pores with makeup. Lately, I've been skipping primers and just using lotion on my face. I'm really obsessed with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I was supposed to get the gel Claudia. I've really been in love with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um, I like the lotion, but only at nighttime because I find that the gel just soaks up into my skin a lot quicker and I don't really want to wait for the lotion to kind of sink in before doing my makeup. So this is a lot faster. And I like to mix this with some of the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic Bronzing Face Lotion. I do this just to maintain some sort of color in my skin because I like to self tan. A few pumps of the lotion, a few pumps of the self tanner, mix it together, you're ready to go. So yeah, putting it all over my face. And like the ears go a little past the jawline. Guys, look at my mug. <laughs> it's so cute. I've also got some blueberries off to the side, so that's the setup right now. Thanks, Fred. Foundation. I've talked about this foundation a million gajillion times, but I'm still obsessed with it. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, and I'm in the shade 125. I would say so. Going in with my beauty blender, I'm just going to start blending everything in. I swear to God, this stuff is like an eraser. It's so weird. The second you start blending it in, everything just disappears. As of lately, my skin has been super clear. I haven't really had too many breakouts. Um, but normally, I would go in with the Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. You guys will notice that I use a lot of Makeup Forever products. This video is not sponsored anyway. But yeah, I really like this concealer palette. It is the shade number one. It's their Camouflage Cream Palette. I love all of the shades. I usually end up using all of them. But I'm gonna use the second one and just add a little bit under my eyes to kind of cancel out my dark circles, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for concealer. Once I finished up with all my cream products, I'm going in and setting my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This stuff is incredible. This is probably my third time purchasing this and it lasts a very long time. So I'm going in with the same beauty blender that I've been using because I'm lazy and I'm just dipping a little bit in there and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I'm not totally obsessed with the whole baking trend that has been on YouTube for a while. Sometimes I think it's a little too intense and if you leave it on for too long, then you just look super Super washed out in flash photography but I do like having it on my under eyes just for a little bit because it definitely helps to like lock everything in so once I do that I kind of use the rest and pat it on my forehead I'll go like a little on my chin and then using a larger face brush I'm just gonna go in and use that powder that was under my eyes and just kind of blend it. And now for my favorite and in my opinion, the most crucial part about doing makeup is the eyebrows. It changes everything. It's the number one thing that um, I always have done. Normally I use the Benefit Brow Zings palette in shade number five because I have pretty dark hair. But lately I've been using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette and guys, I am pretty damn impressed because this little thing has so many different shades and options. I've only used this thing twice, so it's still super new to me, but so far I am loving it. One time I discovered this eyebrow brush on set. It is the Anastasia number no. 7 and I'm so obsessed with it. I love that it's small, it's got a spoolie, and the angled brush is just incredible for filling in eyebrows. So that is what I like to use. I'm just gonna go to town. I usually start off more towards the front at the bottom and just kind of go in small strokes. You cannot rush this. Oop.
Are Halloween costume videos still a thing? Like, do you guys want to see that kind of stuff this year? But yeah, last year I had a lot of fun with my costume. I made this like deer makeup and I made little like homemade antlers and wore like a cute dress with boots and stuff. And I got a lot of requests from you guys asking if I could do a tutorial. It was already too late by then. So if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this look right here, let me know because I would have so much fun recreating it for you guys. I thought it was so cute. I've been using this bronzer for so, so long because I love the shade of it. I love that there's no sparkles. And also this one in particular, let's give it a little zoom up real quick. How cool is that? It says Claudia's Hula. Shout out to you Benefit. I feel really special every time I use this. So I'm just gonna go in and contour my cheekbones, my temples, a little bit down here, and then go from there. Favorite chapstick in the entire world, the Nivea Lip Butter and Cocoa Butter Kiss. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel like having a little bit of fun with my eye makeup. Usually I keep it very, very classic and neutral and I'll just throw in like a taupey brown or bronzy color into my crease. But I want to try out this palette. <laughs> Yet again, another Makeup Forever palette, but this came in with the eyebrow palette, so that's why I'm just really excited about these. This is their new Nine Artist Shadow Palette, and so there are a lot of fall colors in here oh my gosh so beautiful look at that bluey green should I mess with that one are we gonna get that freaky should we <laughs> I might do it I'm gonna start off with this lighter gray toned brown and I'm just gonna throw that into my crease to start with a nice gradual blend in shadow I don't know what the term is but it helps everything else kind of blend in and look a little more natural let's peel this plastic off this is my first time using this palette, by the way. I really like that. I do. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna dip into this greenish blue one and just uh, see what happens. I'll s oh, where do I start? <laughs> Yo, this is so pretty. <gasps> I'm excited now. So I'm just blending this into the previous shade. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm into this. I don't want to bring this all the way in. I think I'm gonna mess with this gray color right here and add some onto the outer half of my lid. So we're gonna tap some of that on there and then we're gonna blend that. I'm also gonna take some of that same gray and add that to my lower lash line. Then also pop in some of that blue green as well. Yeah, I'm definitely adding a little more of this green in there. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this lighter shade. It's like a very, very light nude tone. And I'm just gonna add it on the inside of my eye right here and just blend it super well. And I'm just doing this to kind of highlight this area and break apart the dark colors. Now I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna refer back to this smaller palette and just use the little highlighter in here. And I'm just gonna go in right at the bottom, extremely close, and kind of start drawing a line. I may have mentioned this in a video before, I'm not sure, but I've been Jesus, it's another freaking Makeup Forever product. Guys, I swear this video isn't sponsored by them, but I'm obsessed with their Pro Sculpting Duo. So you've got a contouring shade and a highlight shade. So I never use this bottom half for contouring because I feel that it's a little too glittery for me. Although I've been really loving it for blush because it just gives you a very bronzed, goddessy looking uh, shine to your face. I'm gonna go in and tone this down a little bit. I really like using this highlighter. It makes you super shiny and glow like crazy, but 
I have been obsessed with a different highlighter lately. I don't think I've heard of anyone talk about this on YouTube, so that's kind of exciting. But it's by the brand Thrive Cosmetics, and it is a cream highlighter. It definitely has more of a powder finish to it. It's not too sticky on your face or anything, and um, I definitely think it's okay to apply on top of powder products. But on one end of the product, you've got the highlighter, and I have the shade Joy, which is so beautiful. It's on the pinker side, but it's got like some gold in it, I think. And then on the other side, you've got a little brush and you can actually take this brush off if you want to like dab it into the product and then kind of dab it on, but I like to use my fingers. And then I'm just gonna pat it onto the tops of my cheekbones. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's such a subtle shine, but it definitely is still there. <laughs> I feel like it's not too much, but it's not too little. It's right in the middle. That rhymed. I just realized I didn't really talk about anything besides the products in this video. Is that how these videos usually go though? I feel like this might be interesting, me just talking about the products, I have no idea. But I also like to dab it on my cupid's bow, super important spot. It just makes your lips look a little more plump. And then tip of the nose, I avoid the bridge of the nose because then it just looks a little, a little too much. Maybe a little on the chin. You can dab some up here because I'm feeling crazy. Almost forgot the mascara. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes. This is the Tweezer Man Eyelash Curl. <laughs> For mascara, I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is my second favorite one. I'm obsessed with their Roller Lash one, but I wanna finish this before I start using a new bottle of the other one. Ah, ha, ha, oh my God. Quick side story, I sliced my thumb the other day trying to open a package and like it sliced all the way down my nail off to the side and uh, I just put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, we good, we good. Oh yeah, okay. Lastly, we've got the lips and mm, I just spit. Lately, I haven't really been wearing very many lip products. I usually just stop after chapstick. For the sake of this video, I'll throw on a little bit of this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. It's just like a nude lip gloss. I feel like it just makes them a little bit lighter. But yeah, let's, let's take the hair down, full reveal. Okay, I'm gonna get in a little closer for you guys. Here's a closer look at the makeup if you guys wanna see. <laughs> I just realized I skipped eyeliner today. I guess I wasn't feeling it. I'm actually super into this look. I'm really feeling it. I really, really like um, the eye makeup palette that I used today, so I'm excited to try out all these different shades. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this casual video. I'm so sorry that I've been making videos that are all sit down and easy to edit and stuff like that. For the past few weeks, I've just been traveling back and forth from New Mexico to LA because we are currently filming season two of Tagged, and so that has been taking up a lot of time, and when I'm here, you know, other things are going on. But yeah, once we jump back into October, I will We'll start making some cooler stuff for you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please leave any types of video requests that you have down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, all that stuff, it's down there. I'm almost at a million on Instagram, which is crazy. But yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys for a new video very soon. Bye.